that what you saw me doing was me one shotting a lot of enemies, a whole bunch of enemies, two shotting trolls. <laughs> because this, this is so very broken. What is up, you damn gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful gamers? We will come back to role playing games with Mario Kona in the internet where I like to discuss about RPGs, like the content, like the videos, super appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel, and I will tell you today you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. That being said, this build, you're going to be able to make it very early in the game. As soon as you are able to roam free throughout the mainland of Hogwarts, the rest of the map, that is when you are going to be able to make this build. Now that said, let's go first through the talents that you are going to need. There will be some requirements <laughs> that you will need to meet to be able to make this build. But uh, yes, of course, I'm level 34, 33, I'm sorry, level 33 right now but uh that shouldn't be a um deterrent to you to be able, uh, able to make this build as a matter of fact you're not going to need any any of this stuff that i have already purchased for my specific build for this build to work this is the only thing that you're going to be needing to use and as a matter of fact, you're not going to be a Dark Mage, because you're not going to be using the Forbidden Curses. We are going to be using something in here, which is going to be this. Cursing enemies, basic attacks, with basic attacks. As soon as you get access to talent points, these are the ones that you are going to be getting. You won't even actually need to get to 16, these are just ones that I have just to enhance a little bit more, but for you to be able to make this work, you do not need them. What you are going to need is Blood Curse. Dealing damage to cursed targets inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Not really that important, but you can disregard this one, what you are going to be needing ASAP are uh, these three right here. This is going to inflict curse on Flipendo enemies, and this is going to be the heaviest of the bunch. The highest damaging of the bunch. You are of course going to need to unlock Flipendo first for this to work. But uh, this is just this is what is going to one-shot enemies. What you saw me doing right there, it was this Flipendo with curses. We'll talk about that later. Then we have this arming curse. This gives curse potential damage to Expelliarmus, which is nice. And then finally we have Stunning Curse, this is one that I very much like to use. The Stupefy has the same effect as a curse on enemies, cursed enemies take increased damage. That is the key word. All of this, cursed enemies take increased damage. And you are going to be taking all of this. Now, for the next step, you are going to need something. A requirement. <laughs> You are going to need to unlock the room of requirements and the materials that you can gather, I'm not going to spoil them for you, the materials that you can gather be behind this door. You are going to need materials to be able to upgrade your stuff. You're also going to be needing access to this, which is the loom. What this does is that this allows you to place traits upon your gear. And this is what is going to enhance the damage of it all. And this is what is going to break the game. So, basically, what we are going to be placing in every single piece of the gear is unforgivable too. Greatly increased damage dealt to cursed targets. You do not have an idea how much this increases the damage <laughs> of your character. But more important than that, they actually do stack. So if you place Unforgivable here, Unforgivable here, as well in here, and here, here as well, and there. And like I said, they do stack. So, like I said, you are going to need the materials to actually place those traits into your gear. I'm not going to spoil the game for you. But uh, you do have to get to the room. Just keep progressing in the main storyline. 
do your main quest and eventually you will get access to the requirements room the room of requirements as well as the loom the loom is what is going to allow you to place traits on your gear as you can see you press y but the one that i have right now this is where it comes the degree of randomness to be able to place the trait basically again just to clarify come back here select the piece of gear that you want to enhance like i said i do not want to spoil you more than you should just press y as soon as you press y you're going to be able to select all of this and this is going to give you a material that you that you require for you to be able to place the trait upon the gear this is the one that we're going to be using the unforgivable now as you can see there's a whole bunch of traits as you can see right here there's a whole lot of traits there's way too many of them and how do we actually get those traits well there is like i said a degree of randomness when you go to the map and you open the world map you will see small locations when you zoom in and this is what you should be looking for small bandit camps or medium bandit camps the bandit camps are going to have a collection chest the collection chest is going to be a randomized trait trait <laughs> so basically you want to farm them as much as you can there's one right here there's there's one right here another here and here as you can see i have been focusing myself basically on doing as many of them because this is how you build a character on hogwarts legacy and that being said since it is somewhat of a randomized you are going to be swapping back and forth through them but it really shouldn't take you that long again the trait that you are looking for the one that you're going to be farming <laughs> love RPGs dude the one that you're going to be farming yourself is going to be the unforgivable trait i do not know if there is a level 3 one i do not believe that i have seen any one of those if there's one of them oh yes there's a unforgivable 3 <laughs> so if you're lucky enough to actually be able to get unforgivable three what you saw in the gameplay <laughs> was is just going to be baby shoes compared to what you can achieve with this like i said you have to be farming for all of those traits for you to be able to place as many unforgivable traits upon your gear and that being said let me showcase you firsthand what is it that i do when this happens so Basically, we have a bunch of enemies around here. Let me show you as well the uh, spells. This is going to be what it's going to kill everything. Again, you will need to have unlocked some of the spells. You will uh, need to have unlocked Flipendo. You can unlock this one by doing your tasks. And then also the Sendo. The Sendo doesn't really do anything on itself. It's never going to deal damage. It's going to deal damage when an enemy is on mid-air. The mid-air is going to happen by Flipendo. Flipendo is going to juggle the enemy and it's going to inflict that beautiful curse <laughs> that is going to potentialize the damage and that is going to basically one-shot everything in your way. Now that said, once you do a Flipendo, you cast a Descendo and that is basically going to insta kill every single enemy. If you are fighting against different kind of enemies that have dif different resistances for shields, you can also cast a curse with Expelliarmus. Remember that we actually did chose to did choose to take the the curse on Expelliarmus, and also we are going to be inflicting curses with Arrest Momentum. So it doesn't really matter the color of the resistances of the enemy, you're always going to be able to inflict curses. But if you're able to inflict a curse with Flipendo, and uh, then a Descendo that is, to, that is going to one-shot enemies, and these guys are going to deal huge amounts of damage, but it's not going to likely not going to kill enemies one-shot, as you will see me doing with this one right now. Nah. Did you see? And you can also just run 
round and uh, like I said there are many enemies with different resistances oh he managed to survive <laughs> also do remember that we do have the counter attack and the counter attack is also going to inflict curses on the enemies if they actually do decide to attack me that is going to inflict a curse and it's going to deal tremendous amounts of damage then we can one shot this guy as well and then we can do a arrest momentum on that one potentialize the damage that guy's being annoying and then uh, what else do we have wrong spell Trolls are likely not going to be one-shotted, but at the end of the day, you cannot one-shot trolls even when you're using uh, your special magic, your special skills. You're not going to be able to one-shot them, even them. But if you curse the enemy, you're going to be able to two-shot them. You see? That should not be possible. And it should be much, much more damage when you actually do have the level 3 of unforgivable curses. And that is basically how the build works. If you like the content, like in the video, super appreciate it. No one told you today, you're a gorgeous, beautiful person. You are indeed a gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful person. Have a beautiful day now, seeing you got them gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Goodbye.